Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're having an awesome day. Mike here from virtualrealityoasis.com and today I'm going to be showing you the latest version of the Oculus Tray Tool. This was released by a fella called Apollyon VR, so thanks to him for all the hard work in making this tool free for the community. If there is a way to donate, I'll chuck that link down below so you can buy him a cup of tea or a cup of coffee to say thank you. So essentially this tool is the latest version of the Oculus Tray Tool and it has a nifty new feature that allows you to link Steam VR to Oculus Home. Now I did a guide on this a little while ago but this way of doing it is even simpler guys so I urge you to check it out. I'm going to go through the settings of the tool step by step finishing off with how to link to Steam VR. I hope you guys enjoy the video so let's dive in. Okay guys so here we are on my desktop. First things first is to go to the link in the description below and this will take you to the Dropbox account where you can download the Oculus Tray Tool 0.68.zip file. Go to your download and extract the zip. I've used this uh, WinRAR application to do that. You could also use 7-zip or uh, unzipper of your choice. And then you want to basically take the folder that's extracted and put it in a location where you want to keep it. Double click on the folder and find the oculustraytool.exe file. Right click on the file and go to properties and then you want to jump to the compatibility tab. Make sure that this box is checked, run this program as an administrator, click apply and OK. Now you can launch the tool for the first time. Uh, this box here shows you that the uh, settings have been enabled and it's checking for updates and there's no updates found. So this is a great feature of this particular update of the Oculus Tray Tool that will check for future updates and give you a prompt to download the latest version. Excellent work. So I'm going to go through the options one by one, starting with the top. So I want this application to start with Windows and I want it to start minimalized. I also want it to be hidden when I alt tap between applications. And this is another cool feature here. So with this, you can basically allow it to default your audio devices when using Oculus Home. So I'm going to select my fallback uh, audio device as my HyperX headset. And then when Oculus Home starts, I want it to default to the Rift audio output and the microphone input. So that's really, really cool. That's a great feature when you're jumping in and out of VR applications and going back to normal applications. You don't have to manually switch using the audio uh, sound uh, selection. You can basically does it uh, automatically for you. So that's a cool little feature. I really like that. Jumping to the power options, I always set it as high performance and set this plan on start. USB selective suspend, I select as disabled. This apparently can uh, resolve some issues with tracking uh, as the sensors are USB. Fresco registry tweaks, this is for people with Inertech uh, USB expansion cards. This can resolve some issues using those cards in particular. Jump into the Oculus settings, you can set different super sampling profiles for different applications but I set mine to 1.5 for all my applications. I'm running an old Titan X and uh, I find this absolutely fine running all applications and I don't suffer any performance loss. If you wanted to monitor your performance within any application, you can jump to uh, visual HUD overlay and select performance and this will show you your frames per second within the actual Oculus Rift during using an application or a game, for example. It will show you your frames per second and then you can adjust your super sampling accordingly. ASW, I keep that as auto. Voice commands, this will allow you to use voice commands to actually see the HUD, for example, for performance, adjusting super sampling and other features. I don't use this as it uses the Windows voice command feature, um, so I just skip this completely, but it's something definitely worth checking out. I'm going to jump back to Steam VR very shortly. Uh, this shows you the Oculus service is up and running. And these options here give you a few options to launch Oculus Home uh, with this application in particular, but I use these all unchecked uh, by default. So going to the awesome, awesome feature of adding Steam VR to Oculus Home, you click the button here. And what I would recommend is that you download Discover VR WA. As you can see, I've already enabled this tweak. 
Um, so essentially all you need to do is download Discover WA and what this uh, tool will do is replace that application with a link straight to Steam VR and also inject all the logos and artwork into Oculus Home so you can see the icons and it looks really, really smart. So all you need to do to enable this is to double click on the application you want to replace. It will come up with a warning and just say OK. If you wanted to roll back uh, to the way the application was, you can always click restore. And also it's got a cool feature. So if the application was ever updated, then you can automatically reapply and this will re uh, uh, automatically replace the assets again uh, with the new Steam VR link. So what I'll do is I'll jump into the Rift now and I'll show you Steam VR uh, logo. So as you can see, guys, we're in the Rift now on the Oculus Home. And as you can see here, you've got the Steam VR logo. And if you click on the Steam VR logo, it will take you straight to Steam VR. And then once you get to Steam VR, you'll see the uh, holodeck as it is. And then you go on the left uh, touch controller and select the menu button. This will bring up the Steam VR um, selection so you can choose what game you want to launch straight from there. If you want to jump back to Oculus Home, on the right uh, touch controller, you just click the Oculus button and jump back to Oculus Home that way. Okay guys, that is the end of the video. I hope it helped you guys out. If it did, drop me a like. If you had any problems, put those in the comments down below and I'll certainly help you where I can. Click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future content. And as always guys, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.